instinct tells her this is not the food fit for her cubs. Disappointed, the bamboo moves away. The scent of another night storm already in the wind. the second line. Four-year-old daughter also lives with a pride. 
She is the mother of the group's youngest offspring. The seven weak twins, Umbelli and Mana. The little cubs have been hidden since birth. And now stay close within the protective circle. The stallion, it was all over in seconds. The big male watches his kill from a distance, exhausted by the chase, exhilarated by the sport. Jabu will feast later. Tired from the hunt, he needs to rest. But his prey will be safe. Few scavengers will risk the sudden return of the lion king. hover over a withered carcass. But there is scent of fresher meat in the wind. Pickings have been slim for Nabamba's pride since her fight with a startled warthog. The lioness is limping from the encounter. And even the pride's big male, Jabu, wonders when his next meal will come. There's been no kill for three days, and the bumpers' cubs are hungry. Survival is tough across this tawny continent. And for the lions of Pinda Reserve, etched into the heart of Zululand, only those with speed and cunning will eat. For this pride anyway, it's been a long time between meals.
his lioness to feed him. Overnight, his stealth carried him into the path of a careless zebra. The rest of the herd is still skittish. One animal had already lost his tail to a hungry pride, but for the days... through ecotourism and that they are a benefit to the wildlife because of the draw card. There's a few animals, lions, elephants, for example, and, and rhinos, and, and possibly giraffes, but those are your main ones that people come to see. And we're very, very fortunate to have lions on the property, I think. Those lions that we, we have have given us amazing value for our guests, and by getting a guest in here, we're getting revenue into the area, and that's benefiting wildlife as a whole. nothing to do with his young son. Dejected, the cub finds solace among his siblings. slowing her in the pursuit of prey. Once again, the bambo in her pride will go hungry. But the big lioness senses another kill nearby. A young giraffe slain by humans will provide meat for her cubs. Leaving the pride, Nabambo follows the scent. Oh, my God. 
Left alone, the older cubs know the drill. They will wait for Nabumbo's call to take them to the kill. Nabumbo settles herself in the long grass. The cubs are unfamiliar with her behavior. A female will usually head the charge with any kill, splitting the hide of the victim and leading the way for the pride to eat. But there is human scent around the giraffe, and the big lioness is cautious. She watches her cubs, hidden, alert to any potential threat. The cubs are curious, confused by this new smell. The lioness moves in for a final check, but she has already made up her mind. The carcass is tainted. There are foreign traces, a dangerous ambience. 